Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're building a brand new PCB for my ESP32 TFT streaming project. If you haven't seen the showcase or the full tutorial yet, both of those are linked down in the description, so you can go check them out anytime. And if you're into projects like this, feel free to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next upgrades. So let's get started. I just opened the package from GLC PCB and inside we've got 5 PCBs. They came out really clean, well made and nicely labeled. Exactly what I hoped for. Before we continue, let's say something about our sponsor. GLC PCB provides easy, affordable and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, helping electronics engineers to develop projects efficiently. Ordering is easy. You just upload your Gerber file, get an instant quote and order your PCB in minutes. They offer 1 to 8 layer PCBs for just $2 which is unbeatable. Their quality and lead time are reliable. All production is done in-house to keep the quality stable with strict control in every process. They also offer rapid turnaround with PCB production in about 24 hours. Right now you can get a $30 coupon for their premium 6 layer PCBs. You can also get a 2 inches in NIG finish and no engineering fees for via inpad. You can always count on GLC PCB. Now let's return to the video. From here the process is pretty straightforward. I'm soldering the ESP32 onto the board, then the TFT display. Nothing complicated, just making sure the pads line up and everything sits properly. After that's done I power the board on to test the display and as you can see it lights up with no issues. So far everything looks good. Now the real test begins. I power up the ESP32 TFT PCB and give it a moment to boot. As soon as that blue screen pops up, I know it's ready. Then I switch on the ESP32 cam. It takes a few seconds to connect and the modules sync up and once they lock in, everything just works. The stream comes through clean, crisp and surprisingly sharp for such a tiny setup. No frame drops, no weird lag spikes, nothing glitching out. It honestly feels like the whole system is finally showing what it's capable of. After a bit of testing, moving the camera around, checking response time, the whole thing stays rock solid. So yeah, that's the build. If you enjoyed this project or you're planning to make something similar, you can go check out the showcase and tutorial in the description below. Be sure to stick around, I've got crazier projects coming up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.